Hello and welcome back. Today I would like to talk about the Hatchet Lady from Red Rocks. Now, if you are familiar, Red Rocks is、um, a very pretty place in Colorado.、Um, there is an amphitheater、uh, where it's just naturally made,、um, just from the rocks. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. And if you have ever been、uh, lucky enough to go to one of the concerts there, you will know that it's、uh, really just very natural paths.、Uh, of course, the amphitheater is not the only part of Red Rocks, it goes on、um, quite a ways. Uh, there are places that obviously are a, a little bit more natural,、um, don't, doesn't see、uh, many people,、um, which is where the Hatchet Lady comes in. This is an urban legend or creepy story of a woman who is said. To have actually lived there in a cave nearby. Now, because of how old this story is at this point, this woman would probably no longer be alive, and the sightings of her are most likely paranormal, meaning it's probably a ghost or phantom. There are two stories about the origin of. This、uh, phantom.、Uh, the first one is Old Mrs. Johnson. It is said that a long time ago, Old Mrs. Johnson would wear a coat over her head and carry around a hatchet to wear off her daughter's suitors、um, and make, make them just. Keep their distance, right?、Uh, my guess is that it was during those times where、um, maybe a, a, a man probably didn't know the meaning of no.、Uh, but that's just my guess. Of course,、um, it's not. Proper to threaten people with a hatchet, but hey, that wasn't me. <laughs> um, it's said that she did not take very well towards young couples, young love. Um, and of course, now, um, it's said that she will target young couples sneaking away, um, Trespassing on,、uh, I don't know, the surrounding areas.、Uh, of course, another tale or another origin of the Hatchet Lady is of a woman who lived in one of the caves who would、uh, not take well to strangers. It is said that a long time ago, There was a poor couple. They were just struggling to get by.、Um, and at one point, the husband passed away from illness. It is said that when the husband passed away, his wife or widow went to live in the small cave. There, Uh, she, uh, her mental health began to deteriorate, deteriorate, <laughs> and was sometimes spotted on the outskirt, outskirts of Morrison, which is the town nearby,、um, just gathering firewood or、um, searching, scavenging, and whenever she was spotted, She would make loud sounds, screeches,、uh, yelling, 
um, to scare away the townspeople. Um, of course, because of her poor mental health and violent behavior, people did not want to be near her, would not help her, and therefore, eventually, it is said she died of old age in her cave. Of course, as the tale goes, her ghost still guards uh, her home in, um, in the cave's forest of Red Rock. Um, most activity is witnessed at night, uh, where if you are caught trespassing, whether it is the homeless lady or the old Mrs. Johnson, um, she will chase you. She will um, screech, yell, make loud sounds, basically scare you <laughs> into running away. And the scarier part is the hatchet, of course. Now, in other tales, it is said that she is actually headless. Now, how accurate this might be, only witnesses can tell. Um, but let's let's just say, what makes things creepier? An old lady uh, with dirty, dirty hair, dirty rags of clothes, chasing you with a hatchet. But, you know, if she's headless, it's even scarier. <sighs> I don't know. I just wouldn't want to be caught near her. Um, so, in these tales, it, it also says that um, the homeless lady uh, would kill children or teenagers and hide their bodies around the grounds. Of course, I, in my research, I was not able to find any additional information regarding these mysterious bodies, if they were real, if it's just a tale, but it sure is scary enough to stay away. So if you ever find yourself lucky enough to be either hiking or attending one of Red Rock's infamous concerts, my suggestion is stay on the path marked for you. Stay together, no sneaking away, I know it's romantic, but if you want to avoid the hatchet lady, stay together, stay on the paths. And that is pretty much it for the tale of the hatchet lady of Red Rocks. Um, I just want to take a quick moment to uh, address the speed drawing. Um, because the story has to do with young couples and um, love and red rocks, uh, that is what drove me to these choices. Um, here is um, a young lady <laughs> with very soft colors um, and then the background I wanted to take the colors from Red Rocks um, and if you've ever been there you know the name is very accurate Red Rocks are some formations um, that are very red um, which I think is very beautiful especially during morning sunrise and sunset and then um, that is pretty much it for me. Um, thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe if you want more. And stay tuned because I have another um, urban legend from Colorado. So stay tuned for that. Um, again, thanks for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.